This is a short story about how I almost reinvented Wi-Fi in 2006. And before you start, obviously Wi-Fi existed long before. Its first commercial use was around the year 1996-1997. However, there's a lesson behind this story, so stick till the end. You see, in the years 2005 to 2007, I was a teenager. I discovered the internet, but I also discovered that I could make money online by freelancing. The type of freelancing I was doing was pretty much anything under the sun. Writing code for people, designing simple applications, uh, doing simple graphic design, uh, helping with some UI, UX fixes. It taught me a lot about how to create a personal brand online, but also how to deal with customers and how to make sure that they get the value that they paid for. Also during that time, we were using dial-up modems. We used to connect them to the phone lines and it was very very expensive to be online during these days and even though I was making money my parents did not really understand why they had to pay a hefty telephone bill at the end of each month and in fact they did everything in their power to prevent me from actually going online. Now how would they actually discover that I was going online? They would see the telephone cable being dragged and connected to my computer and then I would never hear the end of it when they actually see it. So obviously I had a problem and I needed to solve it. And at the same time, wireless handheld phones existed. And I thought, since this phone has a transmitter and there's a receiver on the other end, and people are able to make calls through those, why can I not use these phones, break them down, take their components and make my modem work wirelessly? Now, obviously I understood nothing about electromagnetism. I understood nothing about signals. I understood nothing about how these transmitters worked or the electronic components or even how to wire them. But the idea still came from a problem and another potential solution laying right in front of me. Now, obviously if I had the resources, I would have researched it a little bit more, but what I've done is I asked someone who could actually help in this realm. It was the older brother of a friend of mine who was actually studying engineering at college. And their reaction was, that the idea is brilliant, but it's not necessarily achievable given the resources and the circumstances. And now after many years of working in this field, I totally understand why it would not have been feasible back then. However, the moral of the story is I trusted their judgment and I completely let go of that idea without really exploring feasibility for myself or maybe even delving deeper to really understand the mechanics of the whole thing and whether it's something that can actually be done or not. And later on in life, as I matured and as I started working as a professional, I started using the word impossible very, very lightly and I would actually avoid it at all costs unless I've done my entire research by myself and I'm fully convinced that the idea is actually impossible to achieve given the circumstances, the resources, so on and so forth. And the lesson I would love to leave you with is do not listen to anyone who tells you that something is impossible. That might be their opinion, that might be their thoughts, and that might be their reasoning, which could be valid given the circumstances that they see. However, you in your model of the world, you're going to have a completely different motivation, completely different understanding of the circumstances, access to resources that they might not have, and ideas that they themselves might not be able to generate. And the second lesson here is, even though there might be a lot of authorities in the industry, that does not make your experience any less valuable. Try to get to the objective reality, try to compile as much information, and try to evaluate things for yourself, and do not rely only on opinions and thoughts of authority figures in your life. And even though I might not have actually reinvented Wi-Fi or came to a successful conclusion of this project, who knows the value of things that I could have learned by jumping into this project. But by accepting the impossible assessment, I denied myself from all of this potential learning.